insiders have been selling these top three stocks like hotcakes. Flag on the play. Here's what you need to know about insider trading. Stock number one, our dear, dear friend, Deer. You know them as the trucking company, this ticker symbol DE, and an insider just sold. This is the office chairman on November 29th, 10,910 shares for $4.83 million. Now, this just isn't one occurrence. This has been consistent selling. In the last 12 months, there have been nine sells. In the last six months, there have been five sells. And in the last three months, there have been five sells. This isn't as startling as the other two because this one's stock price has gone up quite significantly. So it's good to exercise the shares, but it is still a bit alarming. Stock number two. And the winner goes to ticker symbol. T-E-A-M team for the highest number of cells within this year at 81 cells by insiders. Team, you've got some explaining to do. In the last 12 months, there have been 113 cells. In the last six months, there have been 96 cells. And in the last three months, there have been 81 cells. And just a reminder, none of these stocks have had buys from insiders. What's even more startling is that team is at all-time lows for the year. The stock price just can't catch a break. And in insiders are still selling. And stock number three, which startled me a little bit and was why I wanted to do a deep dive into this and warn investors, is one of the companies for the ladies, and it's been having great sales for Black Friday, is Estee Lauder, ticker symbol EL. In the last 12 months, there have been 22 sales. In the last six months, there have been eight sales. In the last three months, there have been three sales. Within the last year, there have been over 1 million shares sold by insiders. Wouldn't be concerning if the stock price was going up, but it's done nothing but go down for the whole year. Now, Estee Lauder for me seems like it's undervalued and it's just giving me a little bit of caution. So this is just another tool that you can use as investors because insider trading could be nothing. Could just be when their contract is up. It could just be when they have to exercise within a certain time frame, or it could just be macroeconomic factors. And who knows what's going on in the life of insiders. They might be retiring. So it could be nothing, but it also could mean that the company's not really doing that great and the insiders know something we don't. And as retail investors, we need the best tools for us to figure out when we should buy on the dips or when we should trade because institutions and insiders don't play fair. So we need our unique advantage. What I'm using to get this information is Bar Chart. It's a free stock screener. I will leave a link in the comments and it shows you all of the insider information. It's a really good tool that I use. And this is just a very small fraction of what I do to research. And it could give you that competitive edge that you need. Are you buying any of these stocks? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments. Bye, future millionaires.